Hi, how are you? I am Roger J. Lowne Jr. And in this video, I want to talk about the, the fine balance of, um, of uh, persistence and patience. Actually, uh, per persistence, pers to be persistent, be uh, perseverant, be polite, and most of all, be patient. And also, um, uh, common sense is our best friend. Let, let's, let's, you know, put it right there. Common sense is our best friend. When it comes to, uh, writing your ideas down, as I say, um, uh, dream it, write it, and then put and then work on it, put it into action. And, um, when you uh, have an idea, you write it down and you put your ideas through, uh, I always recommend, in fact, I've mentioned this in a couple of my, uh, couple of my other videos to put your ideas through the common sense filter. Um, does my idea have uh, carry common sense? Is it beneficial and will it help others as well as, as, well as help me and my, myself and my family? And so that's what I recommend and that's what I do. Um, that's what I recommend to you. Um, and there's a fine balance when you're working on you know your goals and dreams and, and especially when it comes to writing. Um, uh, Writing is a very is a requires uh, patience and uh, nothing happens. Well, the only thing that happens overnight is lottery. But when you're working on something, when you're put, put, putting your heart and soul into something, um, some things in life uh, uh, occur quickly and some occur, occur very slowly. And so I always say, patience is your best friend. Patience is your best friend. Um, now there are some times when you want to, you know, when you're making a deal, you want to strike while the iron's hot. You want to pursue an opportunity when the, when the, uh, window of opportunity is open. You don't want it to close on you. Um, there are circumstance, there are some cer certain situations in life when you do have to make a, you, know, you do have to make a quick decision. Um, but, uh, we try to make those quick decisions with wisdom, with common sense. And, uh, and so there's a fine balance. Um, I've been writing letters lately, um, to, uh, you know, different, uh, people, um, promoting my, uh, my, promoting my writing and, uh, also, uh, sharing some of my writing. I share it on Facebook. Uh, I share it right here on YouTube. And also, um, I have, I have my books on Amazon below this video is, uh, actually I've hit click, uh, uh, like subscribe. And if you'd like to add a healthy, engaging comment below, feel free to do that. I have some links to Amazon and eBay where my books are listed. Uh, change your life through writing. Um, it's your life, write it your, right, your way. Uh, also, uh, I have some ebooks. Do not disturb. This is my reading time. A book of uh, an ebook of light-hearted short stories, which is available on Amazon. Also available on uh, eBay. You can order uh, from me a, a, a CD. A visual, a, an, 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 an ebook on CD, <laughs> to that effect, and so uh, and also I am on uh, Twitter. Uh, so down below are some links there to my books, not only to my books, but also um, there is a book that is uh, a gentleman. He's not with us anymore. Um, Steve Jobs, a uh, very influential man, and. Uh, you know, back in his day, um, he wanted to make a computer, and everything that he said, basically the, the naysayers around him said, you know, uh, you'll never have a computer, you'll never have this thing called a, a cell phone that, that has computer capability, and look where we are today. And so, a, uh, I can't recall the gentleman's name, but uh, this, this gentleman did publish a book in the autobiography of, it's called The Innovation Secrets of the, of the Late Great Steve Jobs. That link is below there, and also there's uh, Norman Vincent Peale, um, The Power of Positive Thinking. There's uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, also, uh, there's uh, 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 there should be a link below for Zig Ziglar. Um, so I and I I recommend. In fact, uh, I listen to Zig Ziglar. Um, I listen to uh, the late the late Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn. Um, and uh, Brian Tracy, and many others in that field, and so uh, and I also read books because I believe that uh, I believe that books uh, by reading books, healthy books, uh, help promote a creative mind. Helps you pr promote your uh, it helps improve your 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 imagination and your creative mind. Helps your cr creative mind to think and to come up with ideas. 
And so whether you want to write your life story um, or you have an idea, um, just, you know, write it down. And as you work on these things, remember, um, you want to be, once you uh, have a written plan of what you want to do with your goal, your life dream, and then you start taking actions towards you. Maybe you, maybe you want to go on the internet. You want to write a letter. Listen, one letter may not do it all. Okay, one letter may not do it all. In five years, I've wrote a ton of letters, and on some of them, I have received a response. And so I just keep on writing until I receive more responses. So one call might not do it all. One letter might not do it all. And nothing happens, like I said, unless you're you know, playing the lottery, nothing happens in a day. Um, nothing, uh, uh, you, you got to work for it because when you work for it, it's more um, you earned it. Okay, you're 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 working on your dream and you want your dream to come true. And uh, when you work for your dream, you appreciate it more and you appreciate people who help you out. I think that's why it's so difficult where, you know, it's like um, a lot of people ask, when will my dream happen? Or, you know, my dream didn't happen. Well, if your dream didn't happen, that means that tells me, okay, I'm just being real here. If your dream didn't happen, that tells me you, you, you gave up onto it. Pick it back up and continue. And don't ask yourself, when will my dream happen? You work your dream until it happens. But don't be so focused on your dream and your goals that you're, you know, you're too rigid, you're, that you're trying to enjoy life. Breathe and enjoy life. I believe that we were given the ability to, um, to work on our goals and dreams so that, we don't, so that we don't get caught in the drama and BS of life. Okay, and also get involved in people's business and gossip. I believe that's why, that's why we're given dreams and goals. Because we're busy uh, working on something that's improving our lives and to be encouraging to others. And to avoid talking about people and talking about their personal laundry and their, their personal life and their, you know, that, that's, not do, that's not doing anything, okay? We want to encourage others and we want to uh, help people, you know, build people up in their uh, dreams and goals. So as I said, um, be patient with yourself and also be patient with your, with your goal and with what you're working on. Take the time, and uh, it's a fine balance of being patient, polite, persistent, and and perseverant. And you make a phone call, you got some no's, okay, try tomorrow. Okay, you write a letter, um, maybe um, it wasn't received, or maybe, maybe you got a rejection, you got a no, okay, keep going, okay? Because eventually, if you keep going, go, keep going through the phone calls, keep writing the letters, Okay, sooner or later, I mean, there's a lot of people on this planet, okay? And just because one person in charge of something says no, there's many other people, okay? This planet has a lot of people onto it. Just because one told you no, keep going, keep working on it. Eventually, you'll work through the no's until you get it. There's a yes out there. You just got to work it till you get it. That's all. And like I said, um, I believe uh, that our ideas and and, and the ideas and, and life dreams that we're working on, every day uh, help us to keep busy and to be busy enough to be help, helpful and healthy to other people and as i said to avoid the drama and bs and gossip and you know to, instead of talking about other people and worry about what other people are doing you know what you're doing you're working to improve yourself so again click below the links uh, check out those books down there they're very i've read them they're very encouraging that's what helps me to keep uh you know keep going um, and, uh, and keep, helps me to be, to be hopeful and hope, hope if you don't, you know, we, that's, you know, hope, hope is what drives you. Uh, think about your family. Th you really think about your family and, and there's like, when you do something, why are you doing it? What's your why? What's your why? Why are you doing it and who are you doing it for? And so, uh, and, and also believe in you. Don't re expect anyone else to believe in you. I mean, if you have people who believe in you, that's great. Your family believes you and supports you. Good. That's good. Um, that's very good. You you've got a good you got a bit you have a big blessing. But if you're in a situation where, uh, you know, nobody's supporting me and and worst, you know nobody believes in me. As long as you believe in you, you're good. Okay, you got a heart. You believe in you. You have a heartbeat. Your mind's thinking, creating, and inventing. Your lungs are breathing. Everything's working. Good. Just keep on working at it. Keep on working at it. And, and um, by uh, going through 
working through your rejections until you get a yes, working through your life obstacles, it's going to give other people, other people hope and know, wow, you know, um, you know, if that person can do it, I can do it. That if, you know, yeah, if that one can do it, I can do it. And we all can do it because we're human beings. We have a brain. We were born to think, create, and invent. So once again, check the, the links below. Uh, check out a book. Um, also check out other videos out there. Um, you know, uh, ones who uh, uh, encourage, who, uh, you know, encourage and lift up. And yes, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's good to be realistic. Um, but also, um, you know, some people say, well, you got to be realistic. Well, 50 years ago, this phone that I'm doing my video on did not exist. At least it did not exist in society. Okay, when I when I was born in 1966, we were not texting, we were not doing videos. I mean, <laughs> nobody might. I mean, we were just born 1966, and the only thing close to this device was a uh, a an imagination device on, uh, on on Star Trek. Okay, and so one man um, decided he was going to defy to change reality. Okay, you create, we create our reality. We can re, we can create our reality and change things for the good. Healthy, in a healthy way, in a healthy way to promote, to promote life, family, and, um, and the dream, your dream, okay, your dream. You have a dream, God gave it to you, you own it, don't let anybody in your head, okay, don't let anybody in your head unless, the, unless they're healthy. If it's a healthy person who's speaking to you, who's speaking life and life improvement to you, then listen to them. But if somebody's speaking negative, close that door. Okay, or just say politely, uh, oh, uh, I got to run and get some coffee or I have to go to the bathroom or something. Get it, you know, try to make an, a, a polite exit for that person who is uh, being discouraging. But um, only let people who in your head who are going to be healthy for you. Okay, thank you for watching. I am Roger J. Lown Jr. Please share this and if you would and also uh, click uh, like, subscribe if you, you know, if you, uh, if this is. You know, if you think this is uh, helpful and you want to watch more, I have more videos and all the other links I have, uh, Amazon, eBay, uh, I'm on Twitter, I also have LinkedIn, but mostly I'm doing Facebook and, and YouTube. And so I thank you for watching. I wish you well and uh, God bless you. All right.